snake. Now I gotta get ready to talk about this bitch. You know what? Just let go, let God. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cirilla Ivy. And if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome to the family. You now my cousins, bae, zaddy, sis, bro, everything. These bitches be making me, like, go back there to a place. Like, when I think of ass whoopings, I think of a place where I knock your front teeth out. About to get into a story about a snake ass bitch. Me and this girl was friends. And we were cool, hanging out, kicking it, you know, eating lunch together. You know, like on some real sister shit. Like, that was my role dog. Like, nobody could tell me nothing about this chick. We almost was like, I think like a year, almost a year into our friendship. And I deemed her my best friend, like automatically because just... Certain things that I would consider a friend if I need something and you have it and you always give it to me. Or if you need something, I give it back to you, vice versa, X, Y, Z. You know, that was my that was my best friend. I, I was not shameful in saying, you know, that was my best friend or whatever. That was my best friend. This girl is like, she's a lesbian. So, like, she, anytime, like, a new chick come through, she was talking to this one, talking to that one. And... It would just stir up like a lot of drama with everybody in there. And then when she stops talking to that person and she wants you to stop talking to it. Your damn mammy down to your damn family dog to stop talking to the person. Like she was one of those kind of girls that's like if that's not my friend you can't be friends with them. Even though they did, they did nothing to you. You don't have any beef with them. But you can't be their friend. Like bitch you better stick with me over here and, or bitch we're not friends. So which was completely fine because bitch are you gonna take it or leave okay i'm gonna leave it mm, i'm gonna leave it i don't i let people rock out like let them do whatever they want to do it has nothing to do with me at all so you know that's your thing if you're doing it, it ain't got shit to do with me but when you cross that line and it starts affecting me then me and you are gonna have a problem about it you feel what i'm saying i think that's just like with with anybody like you'll have a problem so we kicking it all this time, kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kicking it, kicking it. I'm really cool with her family, her fiance, her daughter, you know, just kicking it, like talking, really being in for on some sister shit. When I be calling out my sisters, my bros, my cousins, yeah, it's funny, but that's how I really am. Like, I'm so loving, so nurturing, and I'm a real true friend. So, if you're telling me, if I'm calling you, you're calling me your sister, or we friends, or that's my dog, that I mean what I say, period. This is going really cool. And I'm like, oh, I seen her do some grimy shit. I seen her see, say some grimy shit. Like, but it was just like, that's who she is. Like, you got to learn how to accept people for who they are. And if you're not willing or open to who they are, then don't be their friend. What they're going to do, fight you. And then you beat that ass. And then you do what? Next, carry on. This girl, I don't know where this wildebeest came from. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, not even kidding. This bitch was hit. Like, I'm talking about chest hair, arm hair, mustache, bitch. You're, I left my razor on the sink. Girl, if you want to tighten up that mustache, girl. Because uh, I just can't. She was feeling the girl. Even though she had a, a fiance or a wife or whatever the frick she wanted to call it at the time and I was just like that's none of my business because the thing that I learned about people especially females you can tell a bitch about what her nigga doing about what her bitch is doing and they come back and it, and it backfires on you so you know what you mind your business and if you see it going on hey look I don't got shit to do with me next carry on I didn't see nothing I'm Stevie Wonder and <laughs> I see a goddamn thing she used to do some really foul stuff you know i mean we all do foul things no one's here to point the finger but that that situation was a situation she used to do some foul shit uh, which i call it in the lgbt community like fam ag stud top bottom i mean whatever y'all call y'all call them um she would talk to the girls that look like girls the boy the girls who look like boys the ones that's in between as long as they said they were gay and they had a vagina she was on it she was on it Girl, you, don't you got a wife? What? Like, you're, you don't feel any kind of way about it? Like, she's like, no, I'm like, okay, well, girl, you grown, bitch, you grown, let's do it, what's up then, you know? What really made me take a step back in being this bitch's friend is because of the way she used to do this one girl. This girl, I don't know, she had like this height thing going on, I don't know if it was like a birthday, I don't know if it was just like, 
she was preparing for Halloween. Look, I don't know what it was or what, you she know, was like a dwarf or like just a short person. I, I don't know. I don't know. She was just really picking on her, like saying some real inappropriate things. And it was just like, really? You're that girl? Like, really? Like, come on. Like, that's just a little too much. And this bitch was like short, right? So she kind of looked like a little kid. And she would tell her, she would say stuff like, I don't know how she got a man and he having sex with her. That's like a little kid vagina. She got a little kid pussy. Like, why did he even have to go that far? Like, why did you even have to push the envelope and say something? That's like really vulgar and explicit. Like, you bitch. Really, bitch. Really, bitch. Really. So from that point, it was just kind of iffy. Like, I don't know about this bitch. And we were already like maybe six, probably seven months into our relationship of a sister friendship you know what i'm saying so it's just like bitch i've heard you say some fucked up shit and some shit is funny because bitch i'm gonna tell you a bitch gonna laugh if a bitch is somebody if somebody say something funny a bitch gonna laugh and i'm gonna tell you that right now nothing you know like trying to be that friend that's like don't worry about it just leave it alone girl she ain't nothing like trying to you know get off the subject because she i'm telling you this bitch was beating it that horse was dead decomposing fucking disfigured it was she kept beating the same thing girl uh, i'm so annoyed talking about this shit but it's just like this bitch she kept going and i'm like damn yeah, bitch you about to make me beat your motherfucking ass bitch just leave her alone stash came in right on the fucking scene ready to pull up with the five o'clock shadow bitch was popping with the taco meat i'm talking about this bitch was ready somebody's father get your dad i'm i'm taking you to your father's house like that's who she was like if somebody was like i'm sending you to your father's house i would picture her at my father's front door because like she kind of resembled like a heavy set man i don't know like where our numbers got fucked up or where she had me fucked up at but i'm gonna get to that because that bitch almost got the motherfucking hammers and i'm gonna tell you that right fucking now me and my best friend we used to go lunches together out together this and that da -da -da. so we were always together freaking fried then when I got my car out the shop, I started doing my own thing. I wouldn't go to lunch with her no more. I wouldn't, you know, I would peel out because I got my car out the shop, nigga. I'm out. When we want to go to lunch and you, I'm like, I want to eat here. And you be like, no, I want to go eat here. And then we go to the place you want to eat. What do you want me to do? Be like, no, we're going where I want to go. It's not my car. So guess what? I'm going to play my position. I'm going to fall back. And I'm going to do what you want to do. But baby, guess what? When this car get out the shop. Baby, you're not going to see me. And that's exactly what the fuck happened, bitch. You did not see me. She would go to B&B &B telling her all kinds of shit. Like, oh, people think they all lie because they got because they got their car out. Oh, they was just having problems in their relationship. They would do this. They would do. I mean, like straight selling me out. Why are you so mad? Like, I want to be their friend. They be getting like, bitch, oh, a bitch, I'll fuck you. Because I don't want to be your friend, my nigga. Like, are you dead ass right now? Like, mom, poppy, are you the ass? Are you the ass right now? Like, right in this second, are you are you serious? Because you can't be talking to me like that. All right, there's no way you got my numbers fucked up. I like I I automatically assume nobody has my number fucked up. I'm like, no, that bitch has been a snake. Like, what? Why is she talking shit about me? Cause I got my car out. Cause bitch, I'm out here in these streets, rotting, dirty, getting it, nigga. Cause I'm getting this money and I'm out here by myself and I'm fabulous and I'm doing all what I do. What? What's the problem? Like, hating ass bitch. Bitches low key hate you and they don't want you to be better than them. They want you to be great but not better than them or with them. I noticed that too. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna fuck with her no more. So I stop fucking with her. Period. No explanation. You got your walking papers. Carry on. Bzz. First of all, girl, I'm not going to even give you the time of day. Number one, I'm not going to argue with a bitch that does not look better than me. That's number one. Number two, I'm too dope to be even sitting. I'm too dope. I'm too dope to be even sitting here arguing with a bitch that ain't like me. You have nothing in common. You don't compare where you don't compete, honey. I'm just, I'm just not going to deal with you. I'm just not. But we all sit here like, yo, what, like, what's the problem? Da, 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 da. So when Stash comes into the scene now, all of a sudden Stash got a problem with the kid. I'm like, bitch, I don't even know you, let alone know your mustache. That's number one. Number two, girl, before you come to me, you need to do that hair. You need to fucking scrape that mustache y'all. Get that fucking five o'clock shadow and get them chinny chin chin hairs. Because, bitch, you can't be talking to me looking like someone's father. All of a sudden this girl had a problem with me. 
you got a problem with me because my, my ex best friend got a problem with me for what reason I don't know like just selling me out talking mad shit for what what's the problem I don't want to be your friend Stash want a problem with me Stash talking about knuckling up old bitch want to fight me da -da 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 -da. and how I know your pussy and how I know you wasn't about that life and you a whore is because when I was in your face around you in the vicinity talking to the people that you were sitting next to or right around you said nothing therefore why would I waste my time so pulling up to fight me, ha, be a cheer, bitch, oh, <laughs> never could I be me, never, never, baby, never. And they want that that work, like they want that problem. Like, girl came to the job and was like, oh, wish yeah, I'm talking about this man came out there with a wife beater, shorts and sneakers, with a, a tater top for a ponytail, bro, and was just kind of like, yo, wish I want to fight. You want to do what, girl? You're a joke. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to laugh. Like, you want to do what? You want to fight me? Okay, sure. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. If I was me, I would want to fight me too. Like, we stopped being friends, you know, kind of separated myself from that situation because it was going to turn into an ugly situation. I'm talking about a bitch was about to knuckle the fuck up, bitch. What's up? If you ever come across a person like that, Always trust your inner judgment. Just make the best decisions. Don't be friends with a bully. Don't encourage bullying. Because there can be adult bullying in the workplace. Adult bullying in life. Oh, bitch, look at her shoes, bitch. Look at her motherfucking shoes, bitch. That motherfucking bitch shoes is talking, bitch. Bitch, did you see her tracks, though? Her tracks is showing, bitch. <laughs> that was my story time. Like I said, if you had a situation like that where you had a friend who was pretty much turned into a snake, comment down below so i can talk about it because i want to know i hope i'm not alone <laughs> i am not alone i am here with you Let's comment down below i want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive oh my god i fucking love my family can nobody tell me nothing about y'all currently i have 1548 family members what up family squad what's up squad i love you guys so much and i thank you so much for commenting showing me love supporting me y'all are my everything i love all y'all i wish i could like take all y'all put it in like a little little bowl or a little a little pocket and just pocket book and stuff you in my pocket so i can have some of my my subscribers with me y'all be knowing y'all be like sis come on now sis now you know keeping it real and that's what this is this is that's what this is this relationship is i can only trust y'all y'all you know y'all my babies but yeah i gotta go this is my mom so um love you guys thank you guys so much for watching bye <laughs> hello